Yo dudes, so today is a pretty big day because we are finally getting started on the Cooper again. Ooh. Oh my god, yeah that's nowhere even close. It's been off the road for what feels like forever. I think it's almost been a year since I've driven it. There is a reason for that, I'm gonna show you in a minute. Quite a lot of you probably already know. But first, we're gonna go through the plans. I've got big plans for this car over the next few months and we're gonna be doing a video series on it. Um, and also shout out to Pouch for sponsoring this video, which I'll talk more about in a bit. But first, let's uh, discuss some plans and I'll show you everything we've got coming up. So, Cupra, what are we saying? Basically, we're gonna go for more power and less weight, which is a pretty, pretty good formula. I mean, it always works. First thing, this is, if you don't know, it's a 1.8T. So it's a 1.8 turbo engine, front wheel drive. And with these engines, if you're running stock internals and stock turbo, which I am, then basically there's only two stages of mapping. Stage one, which this car already is, it's about 260 brake. And then there's stage two, which is what we're gonna go for. And stage two is basically all about more airflow to the car, trying to get more cold air in. You need a bunch of mods to do that, pretty much five. So already, I'll show you. First one, air induction kit, already got that. Second one, dump valve. This is a recirc valve, but same thing-ish. So I've got one of them already. And then third one is full exhaust system, and I have a turbo back D-cat. Um, I got a full Cobra exhaust system. So that takes care of all the air leaving the car. And then to get some cold air in, you need a front mount intercooler, and a turbo intake pipe, which is this pipe here. And you basically need an oversized one that basically sucks more air in to the turbo. So that's pretty much all you need for stage two. And here, I have, I got front mount, all the pipe in, that's all ready to go. And then I've got this, which arrived the other day. So that is my oversized turbo intake pipe. So I've pretty much got everything. The other thing you can do is remove a bunch of the, uh, the PCV system. You just basically remove a bunch of stuff from the engine bay and it just makes it less complicated. There's less stuff to fail. Uh, and one of the ways of doing that is a catch can system. So there we go, catch can and all the piping. So I've got that. And then there's a few other little things like fuel pump and injectors, which I might do. But yeah, basically I wanna to get to the point where I can take it for mapping and the engine is flowing as best as possible, it's as healthy as possible, and then we can hopefully get the best figures. So stage two, you're pretty much looking around 280 to 300 brake. If I can get around 290, then that'll be pretty sweet. And then the other thing is just removing weight. So this is a front wheel drive car. A lot of the weight is up the front because of the engine and the gearbox. Um, so I'm trying to sort of like, you know, if I can shift any weight to the back and remove more from the front, then I'll balance it out a little bit more. I'm gonna relocate the battery to the back and then there's a big dirty AC compressor up there that weighs loads, so I'm gonna remove the AC and just a bunch of other, you know, there's crash bars in the doors which weigh quite a lot, which I don't need because I'll have a cage and then, yeah, some other stuff. So that's basically the plan. I'm super stoked. I'm gonna go write a list because there's loads to do. <sighs> Let's do that now. So, it's a pretty big list. We've got new roll cage, which I'll talk about in a sec. Front mount intercooler, turbo intake pipe, catch can setup, and this is basically like emissions stuff. We'll delete that. AC delete, cattle crash bars, relocate the battery, new fuel pump, new injectors. We've got a stage two map. I need a baffled sump for track days and stuff. I need new tires. Got some new brakes to go on. Poly windows, maybe? and spare wheel well delete and do a sort of flat floor. So I'm gonna to add to this list because there's obviously gonna be loads of other little bits, but yeah, we got a lot of work. But hopefully by the end of it, the coupe will be a bit of a weapon. So it's kind of good because I got the BMW and now that's sort of like my fun street car. I can go a bit more nuts on the Cupra, which I'm quite excited about. I wanna make this thing pretty hectic. So before I show you the reason why this car has been off the road for so long, here is today's sponsor for this video, which is Pouch. So basically Pouch is a browser extension that scans the website you're shopping on and it automatically applies a discount code and saves you loads of money. And the good thing about Pouch for me 
and probably a lot of you guys is that it's UK based. There's a few other ones that I've used before, but a lot of them never really worked because it was like based in the US. So pouch is pretty sick because it's just all UK. So if you're on a laptop or a desktop, get pouch. There's a link in the description down below. It literally takes two clicks to install and it saves you time and money and it's just a no brainer. So for example, the other day I was shopping online for car parts and you add it to your basket, pouch pops up in the corner, you press try codes and it does a bit of its magic and then there you go, I've saved 50%. So it is super easy to use, super quick to install and it's completely free. And the benefit of this is if you save money on car parts then it means you can buy more car parts. So there we go, shout out to Pouch for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Let's go address the elephant in the room which is the Cupra and we'll go cut out the roll cage. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna show you why. I don't know why. Why am I excited? I shouldn't be excited, this is a bad thing. Let's go. Alright, seats are out and before I can give you a proper look and like sort of show you exactly what's wrong, I kind of need to strip a bit more of the car, I need to take the dash out, I need to take all the carpet out, all the centre console and all that, so let's strip this and then I will show you. Sorry, I'm not like, I'm not trying to YouTube bait this and like delay it as long as possible but I just can't show you when the carpets and stuff are in the way so this has all got to come out. Alrighty, dashboard's out, car's stripped, and now we can start. But first, I'll show you why this, uh, this cage needs to come out, and why a new one is going in. So, basically, I don't trust this cage, it's super sketchy. The dude that did it, you know, I'm not gonna name any names, and I don't wanna cause any beef, this isn't a drama post. This is just showing you why it's gotta come out, and why a new one's going in, but it is what it is. It's one of those things, I trusted a guy to do something, and turns out he couldn't do it, and yeah, a lot of you guys might know the story of Adam Ivel's roll cage and it's the same dude, so. This is the cage and down here, I can get my finger in that. That isn't welded at all. It's pretty much just tacked on. And then on the other side, look at that. You can literally get your finger up inside the cage. That's supposed to be a 360 degree weld. That's supposed to be on boxes and it's not. These ones down here, they're not as bad because obviously it's easy to get to, but they're still pretty bad. The main hoop up there, I'll show you that when it comes out because I can't film it from that. Oh my God. <laughs> That's basically not all welded either. The cage sucks, it's not trustworthy. It's all a bit too low as well, so like it's not tight to the, the roof or anything like that and it's just, yeah, I've known for quite a while that this needs to come out. It's just one of those things that you don't want to accept because I spent loads of money on it, but it's life, it's coming out. I've already got the new one booked in and that's going to a proper motorsport place and they're doing it properly. Some of you are probably thinking as well, why don't I just get someone to fix this cage and like raise it up, put it on boxes and stuff like that. I could do, but a lot of people won't want to work with old cages. A lot of people will just want to do their own. And to be honest, I kind of just want to see the back of this cage. It's just, it's one of them like lingering things over this car that have just been like tainting my love for it. If that's as bad as it is, then I don't trust any of the other welds. And you know, it would, it's just, yeah. It's a lot easier to just cut it out, put a new one in, then I know it's good. The seats as well, um, you know, you welded the seats in, so I don't trust them. So they're out and um, this motorsport place is putting the seats in properly as well. So yeah, it's gonna be very safe. I'm gonna be confident in the car again. And yeah, there we go. Let's cut this bitch out. First piece out. Oh, this is gonna suck. Let's get time lapse going because this is gonna take forever.
this is a, the X brace I just cut out. Look at the welding. There's holes in that. I made the right call taking this out. <laughs> Definitely. Now I can show you <laughs> the worst of it. So, that bit there is not welded. That bit there is welded terribly. And the same on the other side. There you can pretty much see the gap. And this one, oh my god, yeah, that's nowhere even close. That's just tacked on. Same as that side, so yeah. This cage is doomed. Getting there though. All right, we're at a pretty good point now. A lot of the cage is out. So I'm gonna do a giveaway. So this is the winner of last week's video. You won the black bowl tee. And this week I'm gonna give away a white one just cause I'm wearing one and it makes it easier. Obviously you're not gonna get this one cause it's covered in metal dust, but I'll give you a fresh one. So if you wanna win this t-shirt, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below. Let me know how bad you think the welding is on that cage. <laughs> Let me know if you're excited for this Cooper series cause I definitely am. Comment if you still wanna see BMW videos because I've still got stuff to do to that. Just comment anything down below and I'll pick the winner next week and you will win a nice t-shirt. Or you can uh, go on the website and pick one up. These are only about 16 quid. These are like our nice entry level tees. So back to this. These bits are going to be a bit of a dickhead because the angle grinder can't get behind here. So a recip saw would be nice. Yeah, I've just got the door bars left and then obviously I need to get it off that original dash bar. This looks weird. I'm so used to seeing a cage in it, but at least it's not going to be for long. And at least I'm going to have a nice, fresh cage in it as well. I think for the new one, I'm going to pretty much like replicate the sort of style that was in it already. I'm probably going to add a few extra bits just to make it feel like I've got something a bit new. So yeah, the new cage is going to be pretty sick. All right, so I think I'm going to call it a day on this one. I've pretty much got one cutting disc left and that's not going to get me far. So I can't get to the shops to get any more and I've got some on order, so they should be here soon. But yeah. Sorry this is a bit of a talky video, but I sort of had to explain what was going on and all the plans and stuff like that. So we'll be on to the more stuff next week. I'm stoked. I'm stoked to see progress. I hope you are too. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be next week sometime. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.